Jared shut his business down, Pat, when you were recouping? <laughs> that Christian would know better. Than <laughs> no, he's got more stuff going on than. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank you. Submit it to her first for next month. Or you want to submit yeah, it? Yeah, What do you want to do? Oh, I'm, we're agreeable. Whatever. Okay. Do you want me to do that now, or? Go ahead. Okay. Um, as you recall, um, I believe it was the December meeting. I came before you asking, um, uh, requesting financial assistance and. Uh, can, doing a phase two environmental report for the HHIP uh, at the request of a uh, at the request of a project. Uh, we have completed the phase two. We have paid the invoice to uh, EnviroSense. It was seven thousand seven hundred twelve dollars and thirty two cents, which, if I'm not mistaken, is um, several thousand dollars less than the expected cost. Um, I have the report. It is huge. Um, it's a very large document. So we're going to have to have it professionally printed. Um, our desktop printer will uh, will not cut it. So um, in the next week or two, we'll have that printed off, and we'll get a copy of Barry. Um, and um, but I can I can email it to you. Um, I'll also I'll email the report to you if you want. Everything was as expected. It, you know, it's farm ground. So uh, there were um, a couple spots of, with nitrates, not not significant. Everything's good to go, um, and it has been um, it has been sent to the, uh, the project that had requested it. So so I'm coming to you with uh, an invoice from the Carroll County EDC to reimburse us for phase two for seven thousand seven hundred twelve dollars and thirty two cents. And then. Sense invoice is behind that. We already had the motion to approve this, right? You don't need to speak. We had a motion to approve up to 10,000, so yes. Yeah. So we yes. just have to approve the claim. <coughs> right. Yep. Do you want to go ahead and speak today? If you have a claim number, we can go ahead and. Seven thousand seven hundred twelve dollars 
32 states. 32. <clears throat> Do I have a second? Second. Any more discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. one completed in 2009, uh, which came back clean, which um, which is why we had never uh, pursued the phase two. Did they do the whole property or was it just the sections that this company was interested in? Yeah, we, we did focus on lot three, but it, it's good for the entire property. Yeah, they were able, the, the tricky part was um, getting the boring scheduled um, and we, we luckily found a window in December to um, to get that done before the end of the year. Have you had any feedback from that company? Yes, yeah, so. If you want to just go ahead and do your report. Okay. <laughs> um, so we, uh, at the January board meeting um, of the EDC, we agreed to terms uh, for an option on lot three. Um, the, where we have been, we've gone back and forth with the option paperwork. Um, the, the ball now, I think we're going to take the ball back into our court. We've been waiting for the company to come back with the new, um, option agreement with the updated terms and, um, the, the asking price was not one of the terms that we did not agree on. One was the earnest money up front. We asked for, um, for more earnest money and um, a little bit longer time um, between them exercising the option and closing on the real estate. They wanted to do it, I want to say 10, 10 business days. It was an absurdly short amount of time. And while we pride ourselves on being nimble and quick, Good gracious, we're not that. No, I'm not that nimble and quick. So, um, so, so, um, but the the board approved um, those changes to the option. Um, the developer, um, his update last week is, I'm really sorry, I haven't made the changes to the you know the paperwork yet. And I said, well, if you don't get them done by Tuesday or Wednesday, how about I go <coughs> and recreate the document and make the changes so we can we can get this moved on. So I'm very very hopeful that we'll be able we'll have a an option signed um, very shortly uh, for lot three for full asking price. And what's the duration approximately of that option? I mean, how long do they have to exercise? They have one year, one, one calendar year. year. And so that uh, they asked for an option so they could do additional due diligence or? They just, um, they, the purpose of the option for them was to lock down the asking price, the price per acre. Based on your current discussions, would you expect it to take uh, till close to the expiration of that option before they would exercise? Or, or would they likely move more quickly? Right. Well, this is not moving. We were we were going 100 miles per hour until we we got to this point, and um, so we've slowed we've slowed down a little bit. Um, I hope it speeds back up. I, I know that they're, because of this project, also um, looking to do other facilities um, around the Midwest. So it's, um, they're, the process they have with us, they're doing several other, a uh, couple dozen other locations as well. Um, so I think that's also um, slowing it up a little bit. Um, as I told um, the EDC board at the January meeting, um, either I've been doing this long enough that I'm jaded or I'm just figuring things out, but um, we have two projects right now that are moving um, very quickly and are in the very sensitive real estate negotiation phase right now. Um, I, I think five years ago, I'd say, you know, we have a good chance of getting it. Um, while I'm still incredibly positive, we're still at the point where if we land these projects, it's like winning the lottery. Um, I, I think that the, so many things can go wrong um, but on our end, I can say confidently that we're doing everything we possibly can to overcome every hurdle that they, that these projects have put in front of us. Where is lot three relative to where are you 
It's um, due west of the REMC, so it does not have frontage on the highway. Back lots. Yeah, yeah back lot. Right First behind. one along the drainage retention pond? Okay, directly across pond. the street from the retention pond. Yeah. So, um, and that's, um, I agree, but this, this project only needed, um, only needs 10 acres, and not really out of, I mean, if they wanted lot one, obviously we would, um, but the, uh, they were being very considerate and said, well, we'll you know, we, because we only need 10 acres, uh, we'll do lot three, so you can still have 20 contiguous acres, which I very, very much appreciated, but at this point, I'm not gonna be, be picky, but, but so it was very, so it's very encouraging to get full asking price on lot three that doesn't have any frontage on the highway. And then the other project that we're working on is adjacent to the TIF district, and it is going very well. Um, you know, these real estate negotiations—that's the trickiest part, and that's—and um, it's hard to find real estate, um, the, the size, the, the size of real estate that we need uh, for this project. It, it was hard to find it. Um, we have come to, ver there's a verbal agreement now on terms. Paperwork is now being drafted, but uh, the verbal agreement on terms was a uh, Thursday night at 927. I was just looking at my, uh, my text messages during lunch. So uh, that was the that was the highlight of my week last week, 927 last Thursday night. Um, so we've hopefully gotten through the, the, the toughest part of coming up with the terms for the option and uh, that's going to be a one-year option as well. Um, that option will be between the company and the, the landowner. It's in the TIF area? It's adjacent to, and so um, for the size of the project and the infrastructure requirements and incentive uh, requirements, I imagine that we'll come back, that, that you'll want to either create a separate allocation area for this project or expand um, expand the TIF boundaries to include it, but you're, we're, we're going to probably have we're going to have to tip it to uh, to make this work for incentives and infrastructure. Is that quite a few acres? Two hundred. And um, and that project um, won't be strictly industrial. I think there'll be a housing component to it as well. They're interested in the. In a campus feel uh, for their employees and um, as well. So I know that there's been some talk about um, a HOTIF or house, um, a housing TIF district. Um, so that might be, this project could be like a combination HOTIF and traditional TIF. It feels weird saying HOTIF, I'm sorry. That is the term for it. <laughs> I just wanted to point that out. <laughs> of course, this is on. This will be on YouTube later. So I have to point it out to my kids, make them laugh. <laughs> any other questions? Yeah. Any other questions for you? We look forward to a bigger announcement. <laughs> I promise you, I am too. <laughs> okay, Brian. Is uh, Scott back with you or anything? No, uh, I called and left uh, Alan Holder, Holder, Holder Reed a uh, message that I never heard back from him regarding 421 expansion and improvements to uh, County Road uh, 100. So the entrance to uh, Packers. As soon as I get something and schedule and schedule something either here or the port, uh, I'll let you know. Okay. All right. Okay. The lighting been installed. I haven't been here for a couple months. But so I there's there's two out. lights. They installed uh, REMC installed two lights. Um, they actually put a new pole on the southeast corner mm -hmm. and then lowered the pole on the northeast corner. So they're both on the east side uh, coming into uh, 100, but, but they, uh, we reached out to uh, <coughs> uh, John Revolve at 
Lance uh, Packers, and he was very happy with what had been installed. So he didn't get blood. Yeah. And I believe they're they're billing them, they're adding that to their uh, Indian Packers bill, which is basically nine dollars a month per line. So, but I never got paperwork from that. I, they said they were going to give me paperwork. They never gave me paperwork. I don't know if uh, Packers did paperwork or not. So, they seem pretty happy. Right. And I've not heard from ISO. Monty was asking about that to do anything to the uh, rip rack. So <coughs> I'll keep trying. What's it coming? Can I? Yeah. <laughs> so he executed the terms of the contract that we had, but this correct. was an additional, correct? Or? correct. Yes. Well, yeah, the uh, yeah the initial con the initial bid had an alternate to do the uh, concrete work. He provided a price for it. Um, and I don't know, I mean, he signed it. We didn't really officially put both of them in a notice of award. Um, but told him that if you wanted it done. And he says he'll do it. He just uh, has been busy. Yeah, I mean, the, my biggest concern is that you get letting it done and then wash it out. And then who's on the hook for it? We'd weigh in on some teeth on that because I mean I don't know if there was if there was anything in the contract that said what the terms of service were. Or yes, and it's usually I mean it's a year warranty. Um, they usually have a year um, in the terms. So I'll have to go back and look. So we're reaching the end of that, then, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah, if not already, you know, past it. So. It's it's pretty locked in. I mean, we've, we've had some rains, and I don't I don't think it's going anywhere. <coughs> he did a good job. I mean, the initial did a really good job. We just asked him to do a little bit more. So. Okay. Any other questions for Brian? Uh, yes. Let's see, Josh, did you hear back from the I call? did. Uh, I don't have a definitive date, but they 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 thought that March 9th, which I think is our regularly scheduled meeting, uh, was going to work. <coughs> much time he was going to want? i say he did not indicate exactly, but I'd say half hour, 45 minutes. Okay. Which means because it'll be both Rick Hall and uh, uh, Matt. Matt Hefferman. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Right. I'm sorry, Josh, can, can you tell us what they're going to talk about? Okay. <coughs> I, just to I just want to say. <laughs> <laughs> you knew it. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out how to make money. I just text.